Welcome back to Fight a Fork. So, dinner time. Uh, today we're going to do something, finally, finally we're going to do some good wa winter warmers. Um, and that means camp oven, long time, relax with a beer. And tonight we're going to do lamb shanks. So, I've got camp oven over here, preheating. So, grab that off on the fire. It was, it was pretty hiding on the fire. Um, bit of olive oil in the bottom. So probably a tablespoon of olive oil. Get your lamb shanks, which I got from a butcher. I always recommend getting your meat from a butcher. I got these from Coles, I'm sorry. Do as I say, not as I do. Sorry, from Woolies, because it was last minute and the butcher was closed. I only went shopping at like 8.30 at night. So, two shanks, one each is usually a good rule of thumb. Um, chuck them in. Good bit of salt and pepper. All right, chuck that in the fire. You want lots of heat on here? Oh, it's still a bit smoky. <clears throat> lots of heat on here, um, and we're gonna brown these up all round. So while I'm browning those up, mother's milk, so good. Onion, so I wanna dice up this onion. Oh, Fred is actually here. Fred, come here, bud. Come here. I know people have been missing him in the episodes. He's just been hanging out, chewing a ball. And while I'm here, I might as well shop the, uh, the garlic as well. So four cloves of garlic. Flip these a little bit. Cool. So, yep, that's looking brown on one side. Ah, oh, could do a little bit more browning on that side. This takes about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. Okay, these are starting to brown up nicely. So, with these all browned up, what we need to do is add the onion. It's looking a little bit dry at the bottom. I might chuck a tiny bit more olive oil in there. And I usually don't add garlic at the same time, but in this case, because we're only gonna do it for a few seconds, we're gonna add the garlic, and then we're gonna add the wet ingredients. So, chuck that back on the heat and we'll quickly fry them up. Okay, that's looking nice and brown, so go and have a quick, I'll quickly show you. So, one more ingredient while it's on the heat, and that's just a carrot. Oh, that was the honestly one of the dumbest things I've ever done. You're supposed to slice down the carrot and then chop it long ways. Anyway, whatever. Into the camp oven. Okay. Now, this particular um, recipe is a kind of known as like a Guinness, a Guinness um, lamb shanks. So I don't usually drink Guinness. I don't mind it. Actually, it's, it's not a bad beer at all. Um, Colonial Porter is a much better beer. So don't use this in your Guinness lamb shanks. 
It's a waste of bloody good beer. There's an old expression, you should only cook with the wine that you would drink. And I sort of agree with that. <clears throat> you should only cook with the wine you drink at the end of the night. Don't cook with the wine you're gonna drink on your bloody anniversary. So, somewhere around here, oh, there we go. Got a good old Guinness. Also, it's quite convenient because we need about 500 mils and this is 440. So, just use that. So, woo. Oh, it's a bit shake up. What the hell is going on with this thing? I don't usually foam over. That's really weird. It wasn't shaken up or anything. All right, grab the camp oven. Yep, carrots are looking nice and steamy. That's good. So. Get the wet ingredients in. One can O Guinness. Five hundred mils of stock. I'm using a bone broth in this particular case because I like it. Beef stock. About about a tablespoon or so of tomato paste. And this is a bit of a weird one. And that is, I use a little bit of um, whole grain mustard. Just adds a really nice flavor. Um, it's not normal, but I like it. A Little bit more pepper, because I love pepper. Well, they're empty, doesn't matter. Fire to floor, textbook. Okay. Lid on. Now, you can put some top heat on. I'm probably going to, I didn't bring my shovel. I'm not going to. Um, put, oh no, I'll grab some with a, with, a, with a welding glove. You can just have bottom heat on this. It just needs to boil, which means it's good for people who use the devil's fuel gas. Little bit of top heat. Leave that for about 600 beers or three hours. Either one. See you in a bit. All right. It's been three and a half hours. I've had a look at it. Looks really good. Oh, um, got new head torches. Sorry, I know that usually talk about like I don't like to rabbit on about random gear I did actually get new head torches uh, I used to have an LED lenser torch I've just got these Olight ones uh, they did send them to me for free but as usual with all my gear I said I don't want any like deliverables I don't want to have to say anything about them I am actually genuinely so impressed um, they've got twice the battery life twice the power end of my story um, there'll be a link to them if you want to have want to check them out but uh, I'm just genuinely very very surprised at how good they are okay <laughs> back to the food <laughs> lamb shanks <clears throat> oh I need a scoopy guy hold on all right hey leave it Fred so, grab a shank. I had a bit of a poke at them earlier. They are definitely falling off the bone, which is code for ready. Oh, sorry. Code for ready. I did not mean to do that. Um, oh, they're like squishy. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Um, I don't ever carry like a ladle, so I just use a a cup. Not a very photogenic meal. Oh, usually you have like greens with this as well, but I completely forgot about greens. So we're having oranges. 
as in carrot. Hold on, knife. You can do this with mash, you can do this with roast potatoes. Um, I've just gone for the really simple option because this is, I genuinely wanted to make this a really, really, really simple, achievable meal. Um, I know I do a lot of elaborate stuff, but I wanted to just show you how to do something that's tasty, but also very simple. Mashed potatoes are also easy, but it goes really well with some crusty bread. And all right, somewhat gratuitous B-roll. Let's do it. Okay, still paranoid about having my head torch on now. All right, so I wanna try a little bit of the, the lamb. Yeah, very tender, no shortage of tenderness. Oh yeah, yep, that's lamb shakes. And they're actually, I'm really, I'm a real fan of the, must, the uh, mustard. It's a really nice addition. Bread, great. Carbs, soaks it all up. That's all you really want from a carb in this dish. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, do. If you don't want to subscribe, eh, whatever. Look, you do you. Um, this is uh, what I would love you to do. Grab a copy of my book or don't. You can steal most of my recipes from the internet anyway. But if you go somewhere you don't have reception, buy it for someone for a present. Mm. Mm. All right, see you in the next one.